through the Wairau District Council's plan to um, uh, construct a wastewater system up in the hills behind the Mahia Beach um, village in the headwaters of the Whangawahi River. Because whatever comes down that river ends up in our Mahinga Kai. The goal of the Ropu was to actually get an agreement signed with uh, the Wairau District Council, as many marae of Mahia and um, Hawke's Bay Regional Council and the landowners. Morena Tamariki Ma. As you know, we are going to, to do some work with the Whangawehi project today. So in a moment, we're going to be heading off. Uh, Enviro Schools is a, a program that basically you work into your curriculum. It's all about sustainable practices and um, making sure that the students realise that this is a world that we want to protect and that we want to be living in a healthy environment. Hi kids, nice to see you. Come in here and I'll give you a run through on this water testing we're going to do. But what we're going to do is we're going to fill this tube up with water. It is the second largest river on, in the Rongan Wawahine, Mutu. This river flows out into a mataitai. We have two mataitai adjoining each other and this stream empties out into one and it's only half a k from the other one. And if too much silt comes down, we have the potential to lose the seagrass and that means the moki will go. We have contaminants come down here. We will have our kuna and our power will be affected. We don't want it to happen, so that is why we're trying to improve the quality of this waterway by doing the fencing and doing the planting. One of the key things with the Mahe Peninsula, it's fantastic to go and plant trees in a restoration project, but it ain't that helpful if they then get killed by pests left, right and centre. Goats are a significant pest threat. Uh, we have to have a goat management strategy. Without it, we would have our plantings decimated um, you know, within a period of two or three years. Um, and so the land users are critical, the broader community are critical, and the Mariah have provided a lot of leadership, but uh, in terms of goat management, we've got to have the land users on board. We've signed the memorandum of understanding with all those government agencies, and they're involved. They're at the table with us. And not only that, without them, we would not have access to all these ex expertise, you know, like um, people who are expert in, in catchment management and freshwater fisheries and freshwater monitoring, all those things. Yeah, so there's, there are a lot of benefits there. No, no, the main benefit is that our mahina kai is going to remain safe and clean, so is our awa and our freshwater fisheries. So welcome to Fangawahi today. It's great to see you here because today is a very special day. We, the, the community has been working for a year and a half to make this, this day happen. Uh, what we're doing today is actually starting a forest. Uh, we put the word out there in the community. We weren't, weren't really sure who was going to turn up. And uh, obviously we've got a, quite a significant crowd here today. I think it's, it's uh, an example to the rest of the country of what can be done when everyone's got a positive attitude uh, towards enhancing water quality and um, you know, riparian planting. Really our, our philosophy is that we're just guardians of this land and we need to pass it on to, to the next generation. It's been fantastic. I just can't commend the people that have, have had the vision to start what they've started. It, it's just it's just going to be such a fantastic journey, really. So the next part for this project is probably to um, fence off and plant um, the fungi wish stream. So from the harbour to um, the edge of the forest, we have got basically seven, eight kilometres of um, riparian strip that we need to plant and fence off. So we are working in parallel with the farmers to improve their farming practices. Probably more erosion control and basically try to do their best to uh, protects the water quality, which is here at the bottom end of all these farms. It's been a long journey, but as for the, the relationships that we've developed, I, I'm so, so proud of what we've achieved, you know, working together and all working for the one goal, 
once the trees have grown and once they've fruited, we'll get all the birds to come back. Yeah, that's a big hope. We'll have, we'll have a track through it. We'll have we'll use it for tourism purposes, for ronga, for art, for weaving, all those different things that you can do with, you know, plants. Mm. And hopefully that would have a huge, healthy freshwater fishery.